Hmm. Life is very deep. So Derek is someone who is now at our mercy. That's life for you. People and situations turns around just as the earth rotates. Hmm. Let's just forgive him and show him mercy. If he likes, let him learn his lesson. I love the way you're being nice to him. We wouldn't repay evil with evil. Let God be the one to reward. Oh yes, you are right. This is one of the reasons why I fell in love with you. You have a very soft heart and you easily forgive people. If Cynthia was the one who is in this position, he sure me say she go show Derek Shaggy. <laughs> 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 Cynthia is a mean girl and she has an unforgiving spirit. I'm sure that Derek would be regretting marrying her. Oh yes, he does cause I overheard him saying something like that to one of his colleagues. What did he say? I overheard him saying his wife Cynthia is a big thorn in his flesh. <laughs> it's too late for him to shed tears. He should enjoy his marriage in his next world. He wouldn't be stupid. I want you to tell me your honest truth, Benita. Do you still have any feeling for Derek? Hell no, not a single one. All the feelings I had for him died the period he got me arrested for no reason. Threw me inside the prison and threatened to destroy me. Derek is completely off my mind. Okay, that's good. And why did you ask such question? Because they say old flame sparks new fire. Not at all in this case. Trust me, boo. I have no soft spots for him. Not even a single one. I couldn't even stoop so low. Derek doesn't stand a chance in my life. Not in this world, nor the coming world. And as you are my ride or die, you don't know how much I love you. It's better for me to die than to betray you. It's you and I forever. I love you to the moon and back, baby. Thanks for the reassurance, baby. I love you endlessly, Benita. Here are the Mr. and Mrs. Betrayer. She will not see on her lives now. It's Anderson and Benita that house you, clothe you, fed you, pay your hospital bills, and secure your future. Hope the both of you have gone to worship them this morning. Andy, I have warned you to stop accosting me. Respect yourself. Get away, you. You see, get man to talk. God gave you a virtuous woman who is supposed to help you become a great man in life. You dump her and went for this daughter of Delilah, who has brought you down to square one. On a shame, they shame me. MD, stay away from us. I have warned you to stop this madness. You to know the shame. What are you doing here? Are you not also their slave? Ah, shut up. Do I look like a slave? You better go and appease Kama because this is Kama dealing with you. MD, stay away from us. I don't want trouble in this company. Mind your business. You don't want trouble. I thought you both are ambassadors of troublemakers. When I don't retire. <laughs> Gary, come, let's live here. Listening to this idiot is a waste of precious time. Uh -uh. Now Derek they call her, oh, oh, the love don't die. No affectionate name, not even a baby. Oh, sweetie, chai. Derek, it is a pity. Take heart, you hear? MD, you have to behave yourself. You are not above the law. If you don't want to lose your job, don't ever quarrel with anyone in this company. It is highly prohibited. It's all right, but I was only attacking your enemies. And who told you that Derek and Cynthia are my enemies? MD, be careful. If you don't want to lose your job, don't ever attack them verbally again. I didn't send you to do so. It's alright, I will attack them again. But I will help you to be monitoring their movements in this company. In case they have any evil intention, I will expose them. I never asked you to monitor them for me. I have CCTV camera everywhere in this company. Focus on doing the job you are employed to do here and leave others alone. Hmm, okay, I have heard you, my able CEO. I will do as you have said. Good. You demanded for a loan from the company last week. Yes, sir. 20k loan. It will be deducted from your salary at the end of the month. Okay, sir. No wahala. You will get it before the end of today. Thank you very much. I appreciate able CEO. You can go to your duty post now. Auntie Benita, you are a very good cook. Um, thank you. Your jello fries taste like heavenly jello fries. <laughs> Ah, Jumbo, have you tasted heavenly jello fries before? This boy. <laughs> I have tasted it in the dreams now, when I went to heaven in my dream. You went to heaven in your dreams, and you came back to this world. Yes, yeah, so the angels of the Lord took me to heaven, and they also brought me back. <laughs> you better not be a liar, because all liars will go to hell. That's for people who are made for hell. Me, I am made for heaven. That's why the angels of the Lord took me there, so I can go and secure my own spot before the trumpet will sound. <laughs> a very naughty boy, Jumbo. Please stop cracking my ribs, I beg. <laughs> Please go and help me get some seasoning cubes so I can add to this food. Oh, 20 pieces will be enough. Eh? 20 pieces of seasoning cubes just for a pot of jello fries. Here. Yeah. Don't be silly, Jumbo. Just give me four.
Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, this is me and my wife Cynthia. I think we are sorry for all the wrong we did to you in the past. I know you've forgiven us, but we thought we should both come together and say sorry so to you one more time. <laughs> Why all these oscillated apologies? Derek, enough of these apologies. We bear no grudge in mind against you both. Just focus on your job and there will be no issue. Thanks for giving us the privilege to stay in the staff quarters. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Just manage it for the meantime. We know it's not really that conducive, but just manage it so you're able to afford a better apartment. Sure, thanks, Benita. Sorry, Mrs. Anderson. Um, Cynthia, aren't you saying anything? It's fine. Please, this should be the last time you should be doing this. My husband and I aren't asking for any apology from you. Just make sure you're diligent in your work. And please, no fighting or quarreling in the staff quarters. It is highly prohibited. Oh yes, other day information got to me that you and your wife were caught quarreling at the staff quarters. Please, that shouldn't repeat itself again. Alright, it won't happen again, sir. Um, please, what about the loan I asked for? Have you written a promissory note for it? Yes, sir. I gave it to the director. Sweetheart, is that true? Yeah, it's on my desk at the office. Alright, you'll get the money before the end of today. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. You're welcome, Mr. Derek. Have a nice day. And you too. Cynthia, let's go. Mm, Cynthia will never change. Always arrogant and bitter. What did you expect from a toxic person? Now only God knows the kind of evil where she did plan as she did so. Whatever she likes, let her. She will never succeed in any of her evil plans. Hey, abomination. Imagine how Anderson was commanding Derek like a child. Derek himself has no single dignity. He was behaving as if they were his God. Imagine asking me to beg Benita. For what? Or now she go beg me. Oh, Benita is a witch indeed. That lady foresaw the future and went for the better guy. No wonder she abandoned her useless Derek for me and went for Anderson. Oh no, I need to eliminate that Benita. After eliminating her, I will kill this useless Derek and have my way to Anderson's heart. That is my man and not Derek. I need to snatch him from Benita. Yes, exactly what I should do. Where did you keep what I gave you? I have kept it inside my pocket. Good. When you get home, just do exactly what I told you to do and come to my house tomorrow morning for rice and chicken. Are you sure you are going to give me rice and chicken? Oh, this is not a joke. Come on, I am not kidding. I'll give you rice and chicken. I'll also give you some money. Make sure no one knows about this. Don't allow anybody to see where you are putting it inside her food. Hmm, but what is this? Oh, this is not poison. No, God forbid, this is not poison. This is just a sleeping medicine. You know Benita don't usually allow you to come to my house to play games with my son Kendrick. So when you get home, put this in her food. She will sleep off and you can come play video games at my house anytime you want. Alright, noted. Let me go and put it in her food. Good boy. Give me high five. Your mother thinks I am a Nikon poop. She no no say my head strong has her own. She wants me to put poison in my madam's food. I will use you as the experiment. She be she say na sleeping medicine. I will sit down here and watch you till you doze off. If it happens to be poison, I will sit here and watch you till you die. Chop the witch where your mama give another person. When I want to use me play. <laughs> Cynthia, can you tell me what is wrong with my son? Why is he behaving abnormal? Why is he running mad? I don't know. He went out to play with John Poo this evening. Immediately he came back. He started having abnormal. How many times have I warned you not to allow my son to leave this house? Cynthia, what is wrong with my son? Derek, calm down. Stop shouting. Maybe we should take him to the hospital. What nonsense hospital? Is that a hospital matter? I left my son for work this morning in a healthy condition. Can you tell me why my son is abnormal this evening? Cynthia, what is wrong with my son? Derek, I don't know. Jumbo took him out to play ball and ever since he came back, I noticed he has been acting abnormal. So you are trying to say that Jumbo is the cause of what happened to my son? Oh gosh, what the hell is going on in my life? That is what happened. It was what she gave me to put in Auntie Benita's food that I put in Kendrick's food. I didn't know Kendrick would die. She told me it was just sleeping medicine. Jumbo, are you sure of what you just said? Yes, uncle. That is exactly how it happened. But why didn't you tell me about it? Come on, why experimenting what she gave you on an innocent child when you weren't sure of what it was? Auntie Benita, don't blame me. It's not my fault. She told me it was a harmless powder. Hmm, gosh, what have I gotten myself into? And this is how I lost my beloved son, just like that. <laughs> we need to arrest your wife for further investigation, though I don't really believe what Jumbu is saying. I believe Jumbu, Cynthia can do such a thing. She's so mean. 
Then we need to invite the police into this matter. Jumbu, you two will be coming with us to the police station. Ah, uncle, please don't take me to the police station. I am still a small boy. Keep quiet. You're not a small boy because you never acted like one. You're a murderer. You killed that little boy, Jumbu. It wasn't intentional. I didn't know he would die. Derek, please forgive me. Cynthia, I caused the day I got married to you. You're a very wicked person. Despite all the good deeds Benita and Anderson have been doing for us, you decided to pay them back with evil. Look at yourself now. Have you seen where your evil deeds has landed you? Cynthia, you have to face the wrath of the law. Then you. Derek, please get me out of here. I'm suffering. You haven't even seen anything. This is just the beginning of your suffering. Derek, I'm your wife. Please don't do this to me. Wife under my foot. So hell with you, Cynthia. Of what use is this marriage to me after you've killed my son? That boy was the only reason I still left you in my life. Cynthia, your wicked heart has cost you your son's life. You would reap whatever you sow in this life. But Derek, you're treating me bad because of Benita. It's not fair. You're crazy. Imagine this idiot. She's not even remorseful. How did I even get married to you in the first place? I must be under a spell when I was exchanging marital vows with you. Gosh, Cynthia, please don't ever come looking for me whenever you leave this cell because we are never getting back together again. Cynthia, it's over between us. Nonsense. Benita, I'm never gonna leave Derek to continue working in my company. I'm terminating his appointment. You're not safe with those people being around us. Once beaten, twice shy. Sure, I understand your point. It's risky to let Derek still be in that tough quarter because if Cynthia eventually comes out of that prison, she might plan something more evil. Exactly. Though, Derek said he would be divorcing her, but that's none of my business. I don't want them anywhere close to us again. Better. So when will you be serving him the termination of employment letter? First thing tomorrow morning. I'm not going to make any delay on that. We don't want them and we don't want them here anymore because we wouldn't want anything to tamper with our peace of mind. Are you going to pay him for this month? Maybe we should allow him to work till month end before you dismiss him. No, I won't wait till month end. I don't mind paying him his full salary tomorrow. I don't think it's safe to still keep Derek in that company. All right, dear. Do it however it pleases you. The lady called Cynthia is indeed a witch. Imagine the kind of evil plan she had. She go do to do make Brita run mad. Hi, Jezebel. She made me lose my peace of mind, lose my only child, and now she has made me lose my job. Oh, Cynthia, it shall not be well with you. Uh -uh, Mr. Anderson has sacked you? Yes. When? This morning. Hey, did he pay you this month's salary? Yes, he did. Chai, hey, yeah, it's a pity, my brother. See what in bad woman they cause. I don't blame Anderson. He's just scared of being harmed. How can someone be good to another yet the recipient be planning evil against him? You check him now. You know good. I didn't even believe that Anderson and Benita would give me the job. I was thinking they were up to something. I thought they wanted to harm me. Benita is a very nice lady. I regret losing that lady. Of course you should. I told you then, but you never listened. Marrying Cynthia was one of your biggest mistakes in life. No be lie. I thought she was a virtuous woman. <laughs> Not the only virtuous woman. That witch, hmm, Cynthia is a very mean person. Maybe she see the prison. Yeah, the court hasn't granted her bill. With the look of things, she might go to jail. Hmm, Chai, devil has finally succeeded in destroying that girl. I do not commend what Jumbu did, but he was very smart. Not all kids would do what he did. Ha ha ha! This my son, he is an old man in a small body. No be lie, till now, it still amazes me how he acted that smart. Blood is thicker than water now. His father is a very smart man. <laughs> the time she gave me that powder to put into Auntie Benita's food, something told me that it was poison. I wanted to be sure if what my mind was telling me was true. So I decided to carry out the experiment on her son. <laughs> Jumbo, this is not funny. A life is gone as a result of your experiment. I know you were trying to protect me, but you shouldn't have done what you did. You should have told me about it. Sweetie, let's stop blaming Jumbo. He acted like a child. Cynthia is such a wicked soul. Why would she want to kill Benita after all we have done for them? She even had the guts to give a poisonous substance to this little boy. What if Jumbo mistakenly took that stuff, thinking it was a mere harmless powder? Uncle Anderson, I can never make that mistake. Immediately she gave me that. I knew it was poison. I know what poison is now. Hmm. So you know what poison is? Jumbo, who showed you what poison is? <laughs> I need to see it on African magic movies. This boy. <laughs> you are indeed an old man. Good day, Benita. 
Mrs. Anderson, rather. Pardon me, Mrs. Anderson. Please, can I have a few minutes of your time? For what? I want to discuss something with you. Like what? Um, I want to apologize for all I have done to you. I regret it every day of my life. Anita, please forgive me. Derek, I've forgiven you. Or is there anything else you're seeking for? Nothing. Just your sincere forgiveness. Young man, I've forgiven you. My husband paid you your full salary after dismissing you from the company, right? Yes, he did. Thanks for that. Just that I have nowhere to lay my head. I've been sleeping outside for days. That's not what I actually want to tell you. I deserve everything happening to me now because I was so selfish and heartless towards you. I know this is karma paying me back for taking for granted all the sacrifice you made for me in the past. But I please forgive so I would find peace in life again. I'm not asking you to come back to me. <laughs> That's even very impossible. Sure, I know. I think I'm one of the most foolish men on earth for not recognizing what true love is. You'll forever be in my heart. I've decided to leave this town anytime soon. I'll be traveling back to my hometown. Please take good care of yourself and always remember that I said that you are the best thing that happened to me. I admit that you are Anderson's wife and is your husband. You are his now, but that wouldn't stop me from loving you and wishing you well anywhere I am. I'll miss you forever, Benita. Derek, I have heard all you have to say. Farewell to you. Wherever you go, try to be a better person and do not betray anyone who loves you. Um, the only last thing I can do for you now is to beg my husband to find you some money so you can start up a new life anywhere you go. If you ever find another lady who would be a fool for love like me, do not, I repeat, do not take her love for granted. Have a nice day. I have decided to forgive you, though my husband insists that you face the wrath of the law. Since I have I offended you, I was an open friend to you, supported you when you needed me, encouraged you when you were down. Since I, why did you choose to hate on me and betray me the most? Benita, I am sorry. You're sorry? Really? What if you succeeded in your plan of taking my life? Is this what you're going to say? That you're sorry? Listen, I am a child of grace. Anyone who is fighting me is fighting themselves. Because you can never get me. I am like an eagle. No one can hurt me down in life. Look at yourself, wallowing in this prison just because you refuse to walk in love. Your wickedness cost you your son's life. Mm. Cynthia, you are very mean. After snatching Derek, you want to kill me and also snatch Anderson. You better repent of your sins and change the kind of heart you have or else you see no good in life. Please tell Anderson to forgive me. I will change Benita. Please take me out of here. It's not my power to release you from this place. Trust me, if it were, I will grant you freedom because I have no grudge against you. I've forgiven you, Cynthia. I've handed over your betrayers and evil deeds towards God Almighty. Let him be the one to judge. If the courts find you innocent, then you'll be set free. But if you're found guilty, sorry, you have to face the penalty. You brought this upon yourself, Cynthia. If you eventually come out of this, I'll advise you to drop arrogance, bitterness, jealousy, strife, envy, wickedness, and betrayal. Drop all these bad attributes of yours and walk in love. Then watch how beautiful your life would be. Be. My wife told me that, confronted her, and told her that you have no roof over your head. Yes, I did. Hmm. I want you to forget about Benita. She's mine forever. You have lost her to me for life. I know Miss Anderson. I'm never trying to get her back because I don't deserve her. You deserve her because when I left her broken, you took her and established her. I don't stand a chance anymore. Good. Glad you know that. As you are leaving this town, don't ever try to call her or send her any message. I want you to completely forget about her or else you won't like the war I will wage against you if you do that. I promise you that I won't cause. I know that I don't stand a chance in her life anymore. I regret my actions towards her in the past but I'm happy that she's ended up with a man more better than me and I trust she will be happy in your arms for life. I back off completely. I think you have spoken like a gentleman. <clears throat> Um, my wife has pleaded to me to help you with some money so you can start up your life wherever you would go to. After so much plead from her on your behalf, I have said that to give you the check of 2 million naira. Manage that to get yourself a roof over your head and use the rest to start up something. Oh, I don't deserve this. I don't. Oh, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> But you guys made a very big mistake. Why will you bring your enemy close to you? Sister, we wanted to practice forgiveness as Christians. Of course, you should forgive your enemies and still keep your distance from them. Hey, thank you Jesus. This would have been the biggest tragedy of my life. Chai, I dreamt of something like that weeks ago and immediately I woke up. I prayed seriously about it. Mm, thanks for praying about it. Indeed, prayers work. Oh yes, whenever I had a bad dream about my loved ones, I do pray about it immediately. I'm so happy for you. This is a huge testimony.
Yes, so God delivered me from the snare of my enemies. I will ever be grateful to God. He is indeed a faithful God. Oh yes, the God we serve is a faithful God. Chai, thank God though. So where is the evil Cynthia now? She's still in detention. For now, she's on trial. If she's found guilty by the court, she might go to jail. Good. She needs to go to jail. So her brain can reset. Very wicked human being. Hmm. So Benita still wishes me well. Oh, I lost the perfect woman. After all the predicament I caused her, she still convinced Anderson to help me with some money. Chai, she's indeed a woman with a heart of gold. I will forever miss her. I don't think I will ever get a lady like her. I've lost my soulmate to Anderson due to my stupidity. Hmm. This will have to haunt my heart for the rest of my life. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that it was a very risky decision? Hmm, you did. We wanted to bury the hatchet and be nice to our enemies. I never knew an enemy will always be an enemy. Yes, so enemies can never change. Enemies will always be enemies. I pray the court sentence that Cynthia to 100 years imprisonment. <laughs> ah, 100 years. 100 years even small self. 1000 years rather. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's temper justice with mercy. I pray she turns a new leaf after going through this phase of her life. Hmm, Cynthia turned a new leaf. The play, that lady is full of evil. She will never change. She sounded a bit remorseful when I visited her at the prison. She was asking for forgiveness. I beg, forget about that her hypocritic forgiveness. She will never change. She just wants pity and pity she will never get. Let her rot in that jail. <laughs> I've forgiven her and I pray God grants her mess so she won't end up in jail. Benita, I know they understand you at times. What are you saying? Jay, no one is perfect. Let love lead. I don't have to wish her destruction because she wished me so. Let's forgive our enemies and leave vengeance to God. You're my answered prayers. You're a man with a heart of gold. I didn't believe you would do what you did. You have set an example of a perfect gentleman and your heart needs to be studied as a cause. Ever since you started loving me, even the universe can testify that I have become the happiest woman on earth. Anderson, thank you for doing life with me. I love you, my king. Doing life with you, Benita, was a great privilege. In my next life, I will still choose you to do life with you. You have the purest heart I have ever seen. Looking up to see you by my side each day of my life brings so much joy to my heart. I am here today because of your love and support. You inspired and influenced me in so many positive ways. I am the most happiest man on earth today because of you. Thank you for saying yes to me. I love you to the moon and back. You'll know it's true I